phenomenal because like during my live stream there's people from scotland canada australia it's it's awesome it's like I, i'm not going to be able to get over there and talk to people so yeah. come over here you know let's hang out every monday night so that's real positive to me i love that part but like what what you know yeah you well think? for me i made a decision many years ago that uh working in like a real if you want to call it you know real quote unquote workplace know, yeah. environment mm -hmm. that was not for me i realized like what am i going to do i'm going to go to work to do something i hate right come home i'm going to be tired i'm not going to have any time to do anything i like i'm an antisocial person you know i'm not good at anything <laughs> so um i've always tried to like make working from home work that was like like but that's a little rough you know when you're especially now that we're in the pandemic you know and i i take this shit very seriously um which is again the irony of me being suspended on youtube for it's so stupid because I no the, one like, talks about it i am you. the most covid conscious streamer on the planet like i mean i, I dare you to find someone that cares about covid more than i do like the, I, I would give most... you money the most you'll get out of anybody else is when they say like they'll accidentally refer to the pandemic in the past tense. And yep. Go, well, and but it is still going. And well, that's like, you know, oh, wow. When you really think about it. Yeah. You know, it's we're not still actually it. over. Yeah. That's yeah. exactly it. But you are like, you will even preface a segment with, here I go again. I'm going to talk about it again. Here's your daily COVID. And segment. maybe I need to stop. YouTube is fucking telling me to stop. But yeah, what like, is, I, is that is that like the whole world, like people just have it's not attention span, but it's like we aren't allowed to focus anymore. We aren't allowed to just do one thing for a period of time. Like, like I was going to ask you if you could have one topic because you cover a lot, right? You talk about science, medicine, you have a cooking show, there's gaming, movies, all kinds of stuff, TV you do reviews of the stuff that you watch. It's it's super fun. But if there was like one thing, one topic, is it possible for you to come up with one single topic that you could only comment on or report about forever? Nah. Right. I, I well, like I said, like I used to do video game stuff and you, you hit a point where it's like everything I'm doing I'm not gaining anything. I'm not learning anything. I'm not growing in any way. Like, I feel like variety creates, you know, opportunity to learn, you know, because like when I'm, you know, when I'm reading a book about a certain subject that I'm like somewhat interested in, but like I'm interested enough to buy a book about it. Right. But I don't know too much about it. Sometimes I read the book and it's like, all right, you know, that's good. I don't I don't feel the need to delve any further and then sometimes i'm like oh shit this is like a new thing that i love i'm gonna buy 20 more books about this subject um but yeah i don't know if i could i could pick one thing because like even if i even if i did pick one thing like let's say like food you know i want to be like the best food educator in the world i know that i would get bored of it five years down the road if that's what i focused on maybe even sooner you know what i mean so I don't know if I could answer that question. What's one like truly negative thing about what you do? And we may have covered that, but like not negative. I don't want to put it that way. Good or bad. What's one thing that you wish was different about what you did? Good or bad. Like what's one thing you can improve or get rid of like hook. Is it like a, a self thing or a world thing? Yeah, like, is this like know. an introspective analysis or an outrospective? It's up to you. Well, yeah, I mean, my biggest issue is that everyone is just fucking stupid. Like, that's my problem. Like, and I'm going to have this problem until the day I die. You know, it's just that there's so many dumb motherfuckers out there. So, and, but it's one thing to be a dumb motherfucker because I'm a dumb motherfucker, but like, there's just so many dumb motherfuckers that like one, they don't know that they're dumb. And then two, they just choose never to learn about anything ever, right? Anything that's outside of like what they learned in fourth grade or something, 
because most the average American is like a fourth grade education level. Like they just they just shut their brains off. Right. So like, you know, part of doing what I do, I have to deal with dumb motherfuckers. And it's what, you know, there's benign dumb motherfuckers. And then there's like neo-Nazi organizations that try to stalk me and release my private information and send SWAT teams to my right. house. Right. So it's like, I just hate dumb motherfuckers. So if I were to get rid of one thing and, you know, that's a double edged sword, because then what am I going to fucking complain about? You know, so. <laughs> uh, what what inspires you or like what do you find inspirational and it doesn't have to be in regard to having a youtube show or streaming or anything just in general um well one uh thing that i developed as like uh you know and i don't always live up to this this principle right you know i try it's you know you want to reach 51 percent of interactions result in something, but I want to have like anyone that ever stumbles upon anything that I've ever done. I want them to learn something and I want them to have like some takeaway. Uh, and it doesn't necessarily need to be like a positive experience, you know, cause I, I, I do my fair share of negative reinforcement. You know, I, I love calling people stupid and I love mocking people relentlessly for being stupid, but I just like, I want to impart knowledge on other people. And I also, that's what I like about other people. I want other people to impart knowledge upon me, you know, and it's, that's my, that's my main goal. So like, you know, as far as inspiration, I just, you know, whenever I see like a new person show up in any of my, you know, streams or whatever, and they go like, wow, I never thought about that or something like to me. All right, pack it up. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm done for the day. So, yeah. Sometimes you'll say. To somebody in the chat hello so and so you're new here and i'm thinking oh boy here it comes she's gonna get him because you say you know people are fucking stupid and i say that all the time like ever not a day goes by right but um when i say it i go oh man people are fucking stupid and it's just like you know it's me verbalizing aggravation when you say it what i hear is i wish they weren't and they don't have to be. And I don't want to get too deep or sentimental on you here. Okay. Well, you but can. I feel free. I feel like you care about people more than what somebody might get from watching your stream for like a few minutes. You know what I mean? Sure. Like I've been watching for, I don't know, years now. Right. Like when I first saw you on Nomiki Khan show and I was like, a long oh, time this ago. is, I was like, oh, I want to see more of her. Right. And they were like, uh, you said you had your own show. And it was like the next day I started watching. I think I probably even watched videos that same day. But um, you shocked me awake in the morning. And there are days where I'm just like. She's going in on somebody. Here we go, you know, but but I can hear I it. that's me hoping that they understand what's actually happening. And that this is somebody yeah. who has identified that they need somebody to care about them enough to let them have it. And. You know, whether people appreciate that, I have no idea, but that's what. Yeah, happening. like if if it's a negative experience, like let's say someone watches my show and, and they don't like it or it makes them uncomfortable. I, I don't care as long as they learn something. Right. You know, like I don't care if it if it's like learning things about the world is uncomfortable. You know, like when I started learning about like nutrition you know, a many couple years ago, not many years, you know, like four years ago, I started getting serious about like what I was putting in my body and like, you know, yeah, it was uncomfortable learning that essentially I was poisoning myself my entire life and, or my parents were poisoning me when I was a child and that's uncomfortable, but it's like, and you know, like COVID is a great example. It's uncomfortable. I don't, I don't like not being able to like, I remember in 2021, I was planning on doing an above it all, like, meetup. You know, I, I was talking about it. I was planning it. I was in the stages of figuring out what to do when the vaccine came out. And then I, I in my dumb motherfuckery, expected people would get the vaccine. And then everything would be fine. Um, but I'm not going to do that. Even I would love to. It would be cool. 
But it's like, I'm going to go like the idea that I would do a meetup and someone would get sick from it. I would never live with myself. I'd buy a gun that, you know, whatever. Um, And so it's like, yeah, it's uncomfortable, but life is uncomfortable, you know, and it's like, whatever. Um, I hear I, you. Yeah. I, I do think, God, I would love to do a meetup. That'd be so fun. But um, I, I think that, um, yeah, I remember thinking, oh man, if we can all buckle down for like three months or whatever it was, like yeah. right at the beginning, we'll beat this and we can all just move on. Can't people see how easy it is? And of course, everyone got like two, three weeks into it and they were freaking out. And, you know, this is uh, just a matter of history at this point. No, no need to rehash, but it's I hear you. History. Yeah. It's been so long. So here, can I ask you some random stuff? No. Okay, here we go. 